Hi there, I'm Lisa from Mythical Witchery. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm doing another unboxing. This is the Mystic Collection by Mystic Mountain Magic in Canada. The first couple of boxes I got were just phenomenal, so I'm really excited to do this one. Now this is the May box. And if you've watched me before, you may know that I've been ill for a couple of months, so I got a little bit of behind. So I do apologize for that. But anyway, let's have a look here. Just open this up. Okay. So there's a little card on top. And it says, thank you for being a cherished member of our Mystic Collection family. Your presence enriches our community. And we are grateful for the opportunity to share in this magical journey together. Herbal magic, oh hello Jellybean, is so versatile and working with this natural magic can feel very empowering. It has been so exciting working with this month's theme and we can't wait for you to experience the wonders that await within your box. Sasha and Alex and they're a mother-daughter team that run this beautiful shop in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. So Jelly Bean is here and he's ready to go <laughs> and hopefully he'll be behave himself today. So let's just open this up and see. Whatever it is, it smells amazing because he wants to get right in there. Look up, buddy. Okay. So, oh, this month is Herbal Magic. Herbal magic is a practice that marries the ancient wisdom of herbalism with the spiritual pursuit of magic and connection to the earth. Herbal magic is rooted in ancient traditions, folklore, and is integral to many spiritual traditions. Within our herbal magic box, excuse me, I'm a little bit hoarse today, is a collection of items waiting to be woven into the tapestry of your witchcraft journey. Step into a realm where magic meets alchemy and you can deepen your connection to the magic of nature. And I won't look too deeply into this yet because I would like this to be a surprise. Are you going to let mommy in here? Okay. Oh, you want to cuddle. You want to cuddle. Okay. So now let's... No, no. No. Let's start with... No, you need to go to the side a bit. Let's start with this box here. Just a minute. He and I are going to have a cuddle. <laughs> okay, I put him down. Uh, yes, and he's back again. But you can stay up here, but only if you're a really good boy. Okay, so there is a package here. And this says, Happy Home Simmer Pot Blend Instructions. And this is a Happy Home Simmer Pot Blend. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this size of that. It's a huge package. Wow. So it's got lavender for peace, happiness and cleansing, chamomile for love and purification, jasmine for happiness, love and prosperity, star anise for protection and cleansing, cinnamon for wealth and success. That's a beautiful looking bag. No, no. What do we have here? Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. And this is, look at that. Beautiful. What a gorgeous crystal. It's nice and big, too. No, no. Don't find me the box. And this is tree agate. And this says, the stone of connection to nature and spiritual spirituality. Excuse me. What a perfect crystal to include in a box on herbal magic. It's a gorgeous crystal. Wow. Okay. And here we've got another package. And this says, protection sachet spell kit. Let's open this up. 
Look at the little squawk seal on there. That's gorgeous. Wow. There's something in there that smells really good, jelly bean. Maybe. Is there? Let's just see what the... <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, you're being a naughty boy today. Okay. So this just tells you what the um, materials are. And that is angelica root, heather flower, willow bark, black which is salt, parchment paper, black drawstring, and a bag with a red cord. And then it just tells you how to perform the spell. So let's look at the ingredients that are included here. No, no. Okay, I'm just going to set that out here. So first we've got... <laughs> you're being really annoying today. So we've got a beautiful black bag here. It's like a velvety bag with a red cord. And there's a packet of angelica root. No. And a packet of willow bark. There's that little parchment for you to write your spell on. And there's heather flower and black witch's salt. And that is in this little spell kit here. So I'm just going to put that back in that bag. Put all of that together. That is fantastic. So that is a protection sachet spell kit. What else do we have here? Okay. Oh, oh, look at this. A witch's choice herb kit. Well, all kind. No wonder he's so wanting desperately to get in this box. Oh my goodness, look at all of these. So, oh gosh. And these are ones that you these are herbs you can't just necessarily go to the grocery store and buy either. So there's wormwood. Elderflower. No, no. You've got to let me show. Okay, so there's wormwood. Elderflower. Mugwort. St. John's wort. Don't you get, buddy? Patchouli. Yarrow. And rose petals. That is, that is incredible. That is an incredible starter kit um, for an, a new witch or great for people like me who may have um, run out of some of these and not yet replaced them. So that is, that's incredible. And that's a lot of herbs too. Look at the size of the packages. These are tiny little packages. Those are huge. This is enough. That, that could last for years. Absolutely last for years. No, no. <laughs> He's like, oh, there's room now for me. Okay, so they always include <laughs> one of these little um, cards here with a scratch off thing. And this time, this one says your herbal wisdom message. Jelly bean, you're being very naughty today. Yes, you're getting put down. We'll be right back up. Um, okay, so you just scratch it off and then read your little message. So let's scratch this and see what my message is. There we go. I've got a divination coin here. I'll just use that. A little bit easier. Oh, look at that. Okay. My message is Yarrow. And this says, Yarrow says, past life wounds are healing. You have the courage and strength to face whatever comes your way. I love that. A little bit of divination for you there. Okay, so we've got a few more packages. No, you don't. 
Oh, careful. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared he's going to knock something over and break it. He does on a regular basis. Okay, got a little packet here. Oh my goodness. Oh, how cute. How cute. So there's a little tiny, and it looks like it's made with brass. And it is the mortar and pestle. How sweet is that? Oh, mortar and pestle. I love that. How cute. Okay. What else do we have here? Oh, this looks like a sage bundle. Let's just see what the book says. Gosh, it's no wonder he's so desperate to get in here. Okay, so that's Yerba. Yerba Santa Smoke Cleansing Bundle. Uh, burn this herbal smoke bundle to add protection, healing, and spiritual strength to your space. So, and this says about the little mini mortar and pestle is that this is perfect for travel or to place on your herbal altar. That is absolutely perfect. Okay. So let's put this herb bundle aside for now. Let's see what else we have in here. So we got this. I love how they have these little thank you stickers throughout. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, look at this. Wow. Okay, I know what this is, but I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Let me look this up here. I haven't had one of these for years. There we go. This is the Rose of Jericho. focus there. So this is also known as the plant of resurrection. Rose of Jericho is one of the most fascinating plants in the herbal kingdom as she functions much the same way as the soul does. Just like Rose of Jericho, the soul can stay dormant and suppressed for years. But when properly nourished, it can expand into the most brilliant display of love and light. Rose of Jericho calls in whatever is needed for your soul to thrive. She represents rebirth, but also the uplifting happiness that can be felt when you provide your spirit with the right fertilizer to expand to its fullest potential. Spread some pebbles, marbles across the bottom of a wide, shallow dish. Add distilled room temperature water until it just barely covers the stones. Place a Rose of Jericho on top with its roots touching the water the Rose of Jericho plant should begin to open in about four hours and reach capacity, full capacity in a few days. Be careful not to overwater it. Your Rose of Jericho needs to dry out and refresh between periods and water, which will help it live longer. Let it dry out and close for a couple of days, at least once a month. Many people will line it up with the moon face, letting it close up during the new moon. This is an absolutely incredible thing to get in a subscription box. Like, wow, these are, these are not easy to find and they're very, very special. That is, that's incredible. Okay, we've got spicy patchouli incense. Oh, it smells lush. And, A book on herbal magic. Oh, journal. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a nice quality book. I love that they send books. You can really build your library. Look at this. Wow. That is an absolutely gorgeous book. And this is one I haven't seen before. Incredible, absolutely incredible. 
that's going to make a beautiful addition to my library. And a little card here which says the June edition box of the Mystic Collection is Lunar Magic. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. I cannot wait for that. That should be arriving hopefully very soon. Okay, so what do you think? This is another absolutely incredible box. They absolutely smash it every single time. I am so impressed, so impressed. So I think it's obvious that this deserves five full moons. Well done, Sasha and Alex. Incredible, incredible box. Yeah, I'm sold 100% on this subscription box. It's a little bit pricier than, than some are, but you know what? You're getting what you pay for. Absolutely getting what you pay for. This is what I would call a premium witchy subscription box. This goes above and beyond anything that I see ever. And I've received a lot of different boxes. Well, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Share them in the comments down below. I do read and respond to absolutely everything. Can't wait to hear what you think. Okay, well, until next time, may love and laughter light your days. Bye from me and bye from Bean. <laughs> Jelly Bean, the naughty boy who has to follow his nose. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.